I'm Solomon with Bob Johnson's Computer Stuff. Just then we received a comment on our video of how to remove a hard drive from a CF30 step by step asking, Thank you for the video. I have one question though. With the Panasonic Toughbook CF30, if you have two functional hard drives with two different OS's already installed and both caddies are working, are the caddies and the hard drive swappable? For example, take out the Windows 7 caddy and hard drive and insert the Windows XP and Ubuntu one without disassembling the caddy. Well, Adam K, that is a great question and we'll try our best to answer that for you. What makes the CF30's hard drive so great is it being shock mounted. This is an important feature because the hard drive is considered the most vulnerable component of any laptop. It allows the user to recover the hard drive quickly without usage of extensive tools while acting as a protective shell. It's partly why these tough books are so durable. So the answer is yes, the hard drives are swappable. You can not only install multiple operating systems on a single hard drive, but you can also swap out one hard drive for another. So try it out by installing Windows 7, Windows XP, Ubuntu One, or any other operating system on a separate hard drive and see for yourself. I honestly see no reason why this shouldn't work. Try it out for yourself. We will be posting a how-to video on how to do this later on down the road. Also check out our how to install Windows 7 tutorial on our, on our YouTube channel. And thanks again once for tuning in here at Bob Johnson's Computer Stuff. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment at the bottom. If this video was helpful for you at all, don't forget to hit the like button as well as subscribe to our channel. And not to mention, remember, sharing is caring. So if you can, please share our video to as many people as possible. We appreciate all the support. This is Solomon signing out. Thanks again for tuning in. Thanks for watching today. For more repair videos, click the link below. And remember, if you have a screwdriver, you can fix a computer. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.